Greetings all, I am Seminary Scholar and this is my channel where I discuss the beliefs of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. To preface, I have attended the Church's Seminary and Institute programs and I am going to be referring to official material. However, I'm not an official sort, uh, representative of the Church. I'm just here because I found these concepts and principles helpful in my life and I want to make them more available to the community at large. Um, so with that out of the way, um, welcome to this week's episode. This is going to be one of my perspective essay episodes where we have a kind of more informal discussion about some beliefs of the church. This one is going to be Thanksgiving themed. Um, this one will not be multi-parted like our last one was. This is just going to be a, a kind of short little holiday special. Um, and we're going to be talking specifically about uh, some comments made by, by Elder Uchtdorf who is one of our apostles. Um, it's a very good talk. I would recommend it highly. Uh, the link is in the description below with uh, the rest of my, my other resource for this discussion. Um, but the, that's going to be the first part of our discussion today, is just exploring the concepts that he introduced in his comments. And then in the second part, I'm going to share some things that have been helpful to me in applying those concepts into my life. Once again, I feel like um, this is a gratitude-themed talk. Um, and yes, it's specifically the, the principles that we as Latter-day Saints, or members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, prefer to apply in our lives in the way that we kind of like to do it. But I feel like this could be good for anyone. You don't necessarily have to be a member of our church to benefit from this. Um, but give it a listen and see if you think it's your speed. Um, so to start, um, Elder Uchtdorf's talk that he gave in April 2014 was entitled Grateful in Any Circumstance. And he talked about the distinction between gr being grateful for things and being grateful in our circumstances. And when he talked about being grateful for our circumstances, he talked about it being a very kind of fleeting gratitude. Um, so when we have something that we're grateful for, we're very happy about it, but our gratitude is connected to that thing, and it sours as soon as that thing is gone from our lives. A personal example, um, I live on a college campus part-time, and every time I come home, I'm really grateful because compared to college internet, uh, private internet is really great, and videos upload really quickly. And every time I go back to the college campus, it's really annoying because <laughs> the Wi-Fi is pretty bad, and it takes forever for videos to upload. Um, and that's just a particular case, because I'm not grateful in that way when the thing that I'm grateful for isn't present. And so, and so when we link our gratitude to specific things in our lives, then our gratitude goes away. And this is a problem because it's been, it's been proven many, many times in many different ways that gratitude helps to improve quality of life. And when, we're hap and when we're grateful for things, we're generally happier. And so this is a really important thing to know that if we attach our gratitude to things that are in our lives, that as soon as those things go away, we are no longer grateful, which means we're less happy. Um, and so that's really kind of an insight, or at least it was to me, finding out that when we attach our happiness to things, we lose our ability to be happy when we lose those things. And I think COVID especially has been a really great teacher for this because we lost a lot of the things that we were grateful for. We lost the ability to connect and interact with people like we normally do. We, we lost a lot. And so that, and so I think this is gonna be, I think this can be a really powerful tool is knowing the distinction between what we've just talked about, which is being grateful for things and being grateful in things, which is what we're going to talk about now. When you're grateful in things, you have a grateful disposition regardless of your circumstances. I would almost describe it as a determination to be grateful, like as though you're taking it as a given. Um, and it really changes things because like if, if you're coming at something and you're just choosing to be grateful regardless of what's going on, then it completely shifts. It, it turns gratitude from this kind of, and I'm using like words that are very descriptive of how I perceive it, but in my mind, when we're grateful for things, gratitude becomes this very 
kind of lacy, dainty, almost naive thing. But when we are grateful in our circumstances, when we transform gratitude from a fleeting experience that is attached to other fleeting experiences, and we take that, and we take it from that and form it into a determination, then all of a sudden gratitude becomes a foundation for our happiness. It becomes a bedrock, something that we can count on and rely on, as opposed to something that comes and goes with circumstance. And that's the difference between being naive and just being determined to be happy. And I think that's really, really powerful when you when you can grasp that and apply that. But it is difficult to apply. It's one thing to hear somebody say, just determine ahead of time to be grateful. <laughs> because it's not that simple. Like, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to be grateful and then just grin and bear it. That's how you scare people. <laughs> um, so I'm going to share something that has really helped me in particular. Um, because I have found in my life that when I'm having a hard time being grateful, it's usually because I'm upset about something else. The, the internal dialogue goes something like, how am I supposed to be grateful when this is happening? And I feel like that's very common. Um, so what I will try to do is I will define what is upsetting me, what is getting between me and that mind state where I'm able to be grateful for things. And I will identify it, um, name the game. And I will keep talking about it um, and challenge it. Uh, for example, again, I'm a college student and a very frequent experience that I've had is I will get very upset about the way professors do things. And especially online when we don't talk very often, this has become a real problem because I will get very upset and I can work myself into a proper fit, let me tell you. But what I found really helps is when I look at it rationally. And nine times out of 10, when I challenge my negative feelings towards this professor, I can see, okay, yes, this is really hard on me but they're probably not trying to do it on purpose. It's probably just their teaching style clashing with my learning style. And once I can identify that, and once I can kind of diffuse my anger, and then I can kind of zoom out and those feelings go away and I am left free to choose to be grateful and to choose to be happy about things. Um, and that's just one example, but I feel like that works with a lot of negative emotions. Like when I'm really sad, I will think about what's making me sad and why I'm sad. And, and it's just kind of working it. Just, just take your emotions, whatever's keeping you from being grateful for things, whatever's keeping you from being happy and just work with them. Like don't just banish them without a thought, that's not gonna work. Um, one of my favorite sayings is emotions buried alive never die. They just fester. And so take your emotions, work with them and until they're resolved and they'll, and they'll come back. They always do. <laughs> it's like keeping yourself emotionally healthy is a process, um, but, but just take them and work with them. Find what's at the center of it. And just like working with a knotted up clump of yarn as you just work it, as you just kind of massage it out, the knots become looser. Everything just kind of unravels. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Like, yarn is still super tangly and it'll work itself into a mess again. But the thing is, just, just understanding that process and being able to repeat it is so helpful. And that's one of, been one of the major steps for me in trying to be a more grateful person. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it. I'm not saying this is the only technique, but this is something that I found really helpful. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving, um, even though things are kind of upside down at the moment, but thank you guys for tuning in. Um, see you next week.